Casey Patey of TheInspiredOffice.com. I'm going to share with you right here the exact tools that I bring into the offices I organize. So all professional organizers for the most part carry with them a toolbox into their client site. Mine is a little bit different because I only organize offices and paper. So over the years, I've collected kind of the best of. These are the tools that I rely on. These are the tools that I, I cannot do my job without. And I think you'll be surprised just to see how simple they are. And these are tools that you very well may have in your own office. And my hope is that this lesson here will show you that for the most part, you probably already have everything you need to get started with your office organizing project. So with that, let's dig in. I'm gonna show you exactly what I use to inspire people's offices. And I'm gonna start with the best part. So this box here really is the heart of my toolbox. When I travel outside of the area, I'm limited on space if I'm bringing tools with me on a plane to work with somebody outside of DC then this right here is exactly what I carry with me. And for the most part, it's different types of labels and Sharpies. The reason why labels are so important is because labels really help us to draw lines between our things. They help us to see our boundaries and separate those products from each other. And there are so many different ways to do that with different labels. So the ones that I use every single day are, first of all, these plastic file tabs that you use on the green hanging files. A lot of my clients have the clear ones, but I always use the colored ones because they're bold, they jump out at you when you open up a drawer, and they're just a lot easier on the eye, so I always have a big pack of those. And then of course, very simple, basic white folder labels. I, I can't say enough about these. They're very unassuming, but very powerful when transforming your own filing system. So I, I seriously cannot do my job without these. I've been known to stop off at the office supply store on the way to a client site and be late because I have to have these with me at all times. I can't think straight without those and some Sharpies in my hands. So the other label that I really have come to love in recent years is this label roll by post-it. It's only as sticky as a post-it note and it's however many feet long. So this is just really great for labeling the front of file folders, really big and bold. It's great for labeling boxes and it takes a really long time to kind of run out of it. So that's super important to me. And then I of course just always have an assortment of labels. Some clients like square and simple, some clients like neat and pretty. And then you never can have too many Sharpies. I have thin Sharpies, thick Sharpies, jumbo Sharpies, colored Sharpies. But right here, labels and Sharpies is all you need to get started on your project. And then I have, of course, just a little collection of paper clips, nothing fancy here. I have big clips, small clips, and I have some picture hanging supplies in this little divided box. What else do I have? I have an assortment of tape. Not only do I have regular tape, but I have removable double-sided tape, permanent double-sided tape. These tapes come in handy all the time. I also really love jumbo rubber bands. I use these so much more than I use the smaller rubber bands. These are especially great, I found, for when I need to wrangle a really big overflowing file folder to keep all of the contents in. It's nice to just kind of pull one of these out and wrap it around the folder. Little plastic bags like this are wonderful for organizing tchotchke drawers, junk drawers, great for keeping tiny little collections of things together. And um, I just have all different shapes and sizes. I go through this quite slowly, but when you need a bag, you need a bag and it's saved me many, many times. The other thing that has saved me many, many times is my Leatherman tool. It's, it's everything. It's, it's a knife, it's a wrench, it's pliers. I've used this for cutting boxes open. I've used this for opening broken file cabinet drawers. This is really wonderful and um, it's gotten me out of a pinch more than once. And then I've just, of course, have jumbo paper clips and the last thing that I find that I use all the time is just this measuring tape 
with a level because again I'm always kind of helping clients to beautify their office hang things up and this level actually comes in quite handy so there you have it it's pretty basic no big surprises again chances are you have everything you need to get started with your project this is Casey Patey of the inspiredoffice.com mm -hmm.